Tonight, we now know through a joint investigation led by Allegheny Township Police that they're closing in on a suspect they believe intentionally started a fire at the Blue Knob Service Center last night in Duncansville. And while no one was hurt, we're told the damage could be over a million dollars. Our Scott Mattis gathered that information and joins us live at the Service Center with more. Scott. Good evening, Matt and Maggie. Yeah, the devastation and the destruction is so very easy to see just over my shoulder, and you're going to get a better look at it in just a second. But this, of course, is a joint investigation with Allegheny Township, the state police, and also the state fire marshal's office. And right now, the hunt is on for that suspect. It is intentional. It was a deliberate act. We've never had anything like this take place. But Monday night, just after 11, it did happen. All of our shop equipment, our diagnostic tools are all housed in that part of the building. The fire started in the back of the Blue Knob Auto Service Center off 764 in Duncansville. Was anyone supposed to be here at that time last night? No, no, the building was supposed to be unoccupied. But it looks like someone was there and may have been caught by in-house surveillance as the fire started. Do you all have surveillance cameras here at the property? Yes, we do. And are those being looked at right now? They are, yes. And it might be because of that footage, Allegheny Township Police Chief Leo Berg tells me the long arm of the law is closing in. We do have a suspect. While the investigation continues, Nagel tells me the monetary loss could surpass $1 million, but adds this act that is likely criminal could have been much worse. The building could be rebuilt, the parts that, are, that have been damaged. Um, so as long as no one gets hurt, we'll be fine. That's what a lot of people are saying back out here live. Of course, the devastation and destruction, well, that can be rebuilt. No lives were lost. Now, the bottom line to this big story, if you have any information whatsoever as to who may have started this fire, either call the Allegheny Township Police Department or the state police. Maggie and Matt, over the next 60 minutes, I'll be digging for more information. I'll see you back here live on WTAJ News at 6 o'clock. Back to you in the studio.